Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's flavor is coconut crumble. It's from the Donut Cafe collection from Ollie's. Um, I buy that coffee a lot. I think you get 80 pods, different flavors. I think it's $22, at least that's what it was the last time I bought it. Who knows what it is now. But I think that's a pretty good deal for that many coffee pods. And the coffees are all good. So that's what my flavor is for today. And the temperature is going to be 40 degrees. And it looks like it's going to be sunny. So yay, warming up a little bit. Later on this week it's supposed to go up into the low 50s which will be much appreciated. So I would like to start walking, but it's still a little too cold for me. I have a treadmill that I could walk on, but you know, that gets a little boring. I do have a TV down there, but even with that, sometimes it's hard to hear the television unless you blast it because the treadmill's kind of loud. But I've had the treadmill for years. I've used it off and on. I have a bike down there, stationary bike, that was given to me by my first ex-husband. He wasn't using it, so I use that once in a while. And I got rid of a lot of my exercise equipment that I just wasn't using. So what's left down there now, I have an elliptical, I have a treadmill, the bike, and... I think there's one more thing, but I can't even remember what it is. So, But anyway, that room needs a good cleaning, and um, then maybe I'll start working out down there. Nothing crazy. I'd rather do some Tai Chi or yoga, and I did download a new yoga app, a free yoga app, on my new TV. So, um, I don't know. I need to do something. It seems like I sit around too much. I try not to. I try not to sit around in my lounge chair until afternoon. And then I kind of get comfy in there and I have a cup of tea and there I kind of stay and get up and make something to eat. And <laughs> that's my day. So I try and get everything done in the morning because that's when I feel the least sore but uh, you know you got to work with your body but I think some beneficial exercise and especially yoga will be good for me all right let's put some creamer in this coffee this is another cup I got at Mark's for really cheap and it's really pretty it came with a tea insert and a lid and it was very inexpensive. They have similar cups to this on Amazon, and they're pretty expensive. So every now and then, Mark's has stuff that you can't pass by, so you got to buy it, or it'll be gone. So, all right, this is best for me with chocolate creamer. And I had chocolate creamer in my cart at Walmart, but they're out of it. This is why I like to stock up, and I let it go a little too long this time. But they'll probably stack up for the weekend, so I think what I'm going to do when I notice it's back in stock, I'll just order my order from Walmart. I've been holding off on that. There's not a whole lot of food in there. It's mostly drinks and creamer and uh, those things. So, all right, let's give the coffee a try. Cheers. Oh, very hot. Very good. Yummy. Yeah, the coconut crumble is my favorite in that pack. Uh, but they're all good. So I didn't get my Walmart order early enough to share it with you yesterday, so I'll show you what I got today. It's not much. It was about $35, but it wasn't food stuff. I had two different orders. One of them they had to ship, and the other one uh, is, you know, the, the drinks and stuff. 
so um, but I'm trying hard to not spend too much money this month try and do a little catch up so but I'm doing okay I hope you guys are doing okay with your budget too um, if you budget and if you don't budget well I'm sure you're you're smart enough to handle your money whatever way you think works for you so okay I'm going to enjoy my coffee and then I will meet you at the budget book all right, here we are back at the budget book. Well, yesterday I did spend money at Walmart, and I'll show you what I got. It's not much. A couple of the things were like in the $10 range, so I spent, I think it was $35-ish, not too bad. But it wasn't for food. It was for other things. These were things that needed to be shipped, So, and they shipped them in one day. So I was kind of impressed by that, but I still have things in my Walmart cart that I have to buy soon because um, I'm just waiting for my creamer to become available because it's sold out again. And this is why I keep extra, but I let it go really long this time and um, I'm out. I mean, I still have a little bit in, in this current one but I don't have any backup. But I do have some oat milk creamer that it won't kill me to use that. So anyway, I will be putting in a Walmart order as soon as I see that they got my creamer back in stock, and I'll be buying four of those. So I don't shop at any one store very often, usually once a month, but what I've been trying to do is not shop all three stores on the same day. It's just too much, too much stuff to put away. It's all too heavy to drag in the house. So I'm trying to simplify and make that easier, an easier process. And then just buying produce a little more often and a little less at any one time so that um, it's a little fresher. But like I said, I only buy basic produce. I don't buy a lot of, um, you know, broccoli and cauliflower and those kind of things. I buy basics, lettuce, um, carrots, a bag of shredded coleslaw, some green onions usually, um, cucumber, just things to make a salad or to add to soup like the carrots and celery, onions and potatoes. And that's about it. That's about the, the produce that I buy. Um, everything else I'm pretty much trying to stick to frozen. So anyway, that is my status on my budget book this morning. And I'm probably, I, I need to get some fabric markers and I found some at Walmart because the magic marker that I put on my chair to tie the colors in, it, it's kind of fading and rubbing off. So I want to try a fabric marker. So I'll probably be buying that today. And there again, it's something that Walmart has to ship. So anyway, that's it for my budget book today. Let me show you what I bought. Hey, good morning. Cheers. Still enjoying my coffee. I just wanted to share with you what I got at Walmart. Now, it is not a big deal at all. Came to about $35, but there were a couple things in there that were kind of around the $10 mark, so don't expect much. So, I got two of these, and I think they were $4.00. 44 cents if I remember correctly and you get 16 votive candles. I didn't want the tea lights. I wanted the votive candles. I like the tea lights too but I usually get those at Mark's. So these uh, votives are not as big as the ones you get at Dollar Tree and they also aren't scented. The ones at Dollar Tree where you get three for $1.25 are scented but I like to keep these on hand too 
because I don't always get to the Dollar Tree. And also, what's going on out there, puppies? Birds. And also, um, they don't always have them. Sometimes they're out of them. So uh, I like to burn these every day, like at my kitchen table. And they, I think they're like four, six hours, maybe eight hours, something like that, which is plenty long enough. And they're great to have for emergencies, too. So I got two packs of those. Then I like these for uh, storage. And I had a bunch of them that I got at Costco. I don't remember how, how much they were. But uh, over time now, I've given them to family members to take food home and stuff like that. Because uh, they are dishwasher safe. Um... But I like these because they don't take up much space. So I got these for, they were $3 and something. And you get four of them, five of them, you get five of them. So I didn't need, I think with Costco you got like 12. I didn't need that many. But I use these all the time and they fit nicely in my fridge and in my freezer. So I got those. Then I got these for the puppies, and they're, uh, it's no rawhide, and there's, I think, 50 of them. Yeah, there's 50 of them, and it's chicken flavor, but I give my dogs, I don't give them tons of treats, but I like to give them something like this when I go out, and then they know I'm going to be gone for a while. They know. So, oh boy. I don't know. Every time I go to see what they're barking about, there's like nothing there. So, but they are you know, having a concert this morning. So anyway, back to these. Um, I like that there's 50 in here and because stuff like this can be extremely expensive. So I get these from Walmart and they're 10 something. So I got those, and then I like this fiber powder. I put it in my tea, and you can't taste it. You can't feel it, and it, there's no mouth feel from it. So, um, and last time I had a, a checkup, this is what he said. You're going to have to take that probably forever. So, and this was, I think... It was 10 or $12. I really don't remember. And that was it. That was my big Walmart whoop de doo haul. So, but it's things that are useful and things that I need. I'm trying not to buy too much frivolous stuff. Only things that I'm going to use. So, uh, I, I'm happy with that. So, anyway, um, I'll be back in a little bit. 101 Ways one Ways to Simplify Your Life by Candy Paul Day number 91 Acquire experiences instead of things Lord, let me know my end and what is the measure of my days. Let me know how fleeting my life is. Psalm 34 Creating a simpler life makes you weigh your values. Things can be wonderful, but they break, wear out, and clutter your home. Life is precious and fleeting, so value life and feed your spirit by putting material things second. Invest in life experiences such as education and self-improvement, time with loved ones and creating precious memories. When you want some fun, seek adventure and an experience of life. Check out a museum, visit an art gallery, or attend a special community program. Invest in education or travel that broadens your perspective. When you want to celebrate a special occasion with a loved one, share a fun activity together. Plan your next vacation around enjoying an adventure in an exciting new location instead of merely lounging by the pool or shopping in tourist traps. Well, I've been doing a little self-improvement uh, work this morning, looking through some of my old notebooks. And 
I've said it before that I used to be a shopaholic. Oh, I loved to shop. I would shop two or three times a week. Um, not high-end stores, but I've always been a bargain shopper. And that was the thrill for me. It was the thrill of the hunt and what I could find for a good deal. So, um, and I've gotten super buys over the years and just wonderful things, but that phase of my life uh, is over. I, I'm not a shopaholic anymore. In fact, I've gone from one extreme to the other, and I'm pretty frugal now. Not that I never buy anything. You know, I'm, I'm not that frugal. But I've, I've definitely gotten over the hump of being a shopaholic. So let me tell you some of my ideas. All right, well, this morning I'm sitting here looking through one of my notebooks at some of the notes I had taken. And um, I have things in here like what would my ideal life be like. And um, I wrote this, I think, in 2020 or around there, so it's not new now. But I'm making a new list for 2024, and I'm going to just date that 2024 so that I know that it's not something from the past. It's sort of right now. So anyway, um, after I was reading what would my ideal life look like in 2020, after I read it, it's like, well... I'm living my ideal life, so that's a good thing. Um, so apparently, between 2020 and now, I've managed to uh, materialize my ideal life. And part of the things that I had envisioned was pretty much being able to do whatever I wanted, when I wanted to do it, to create a very, um, for lack of a better term, zen-like and organic um, home, something warm and cozy. And I think at least for most of the house I've done that. I still have work to do on that. So, and then just spending alone time and family and time with family and friends, which is what I do. So I don't have a whole lot of crazy things on my list of things to do. You know, I'm, I'm not going to set the world on fire. I, I don't have any ambition to do that. I'd still like to take some fun classes, and I'd still like to learn new things. I love to learn new things. That is one thing I do really enjoy doing. So anyway, I'm sitting here making another list, and I thought one of my main goals for this year is to remain debt free. Now, if you've been in debt and you've paid it off, and I've been in and out of debt many times in my life, there's always that fear in your head that you're going to become, uh, you're going to have more debt. So I'm trying to Get, get in front of that, get ahead of that, so that I don't get back into debt, because I would like to just maintain this lifestyle for forever, whatever forever is for me. So I went and I dug out some books from my book stash, because I have a lot of books. I've gotten rid of a lot of books in the past when I did purging. Things that weren't relevant anymore, cookbooks that weren't relevant anymore um, since I'm vegetarian. Now, I do have cookbooks that aren't vegetarian, but of course there are always lots of recipes in there that you can convert. You can make almost anything vegan or vegetarian without putting the meat in. At least that's what I found to be true. But anyway, I want to read these three books, and I'll probably read them at the same time because it's what I do. Um, one of them is the No Spend Challenge Guide, How to Stop Spending Money Impulsively, Pay Off Debt Fast, and Make Your Finances Fit Your Dreams by Jen Smith. <clears throat> now, I know I have read 
pieces and parts of these books because obviously they're from my stash. So, but I just want to reiterate and refresh my memory as to what they're talking about. Then I have this book. I don't even remember where I got it, but Cut Your Grocery Bills Today, uh, plus 50 low-cost family-pleasing meals. And again, you can veganize or make something vegetarian, even if it calls for meat. You just have to know what to substitute for what. So I want that to go with that. And then um, I have this one. I, I think I got this one on Amazon. And it's by Karen Morris, A Year Without the Grocery Store. And it's a step-by-step -step guide to acquiring, organizing, and cooking food storage. So those three books, I thought, geez, you know, those are right. They kind of all go together. So that's what I'm going to be reading. Um, so I'm making myself a list now. And this makes sense to me, and maybe it'll make sense to you. And what I'm writing down is, what do I spend money on and why? So, so far I've only come up with two things, well, actually three things. So, I spend money on clothes. Now, nowhere near like what I used to. I used to go to Walmart every week, sometimes a couple times a week, and I would buy clothes and clothes and clothes. That's why I have so many. And some of them are like brand new. They've hardly ever been worn or washed because I just had too many. Now I've been whittling that down over, over the years and not buying much in the way of clothing at all because first of all, I don't work anymore. So I don't have to look top notch every day. Uh, because I was kind of picky in how I looked. I always put on my makeup. I never wore a lot of makeup, but I always had my lipstick, my eye makeup. Um, my hair was always done. I always had coordinating outfits and shoes. And, you know, I, I was, you know, very particular in that regard. Well, I'm not so much anymore because I hardly ever go anywhere. And I'm not one to... You know, as soon as my feet hit the ground after I get out of bed to get dressed. Well, you guys know I love my pajama days. And, you know, I don't put on makeup while I'm at home by myself. I'm not, like, waiting for people to call me to, hey, let's go do lunch or let's go do this. If that happens, it takes me five minutes to get dressed and throw on some lipstick. And I'm done. So I don't do that, and I don't expect people to come ring my doorbell. First of all, I don't answer the doorbell at all if it's somebody I don't know. I don't even go to the door. Um, and secondly, nobody ever comes over unannounced. So again, I can be ready in five minutes, and there you go. So I don't practice that, you know, that I have to get up and and just look wonderful for myself. It, it's like I'm much more comfortable not doing that. So <clears throat> I don't shop for clothes as much as I used to because it's not necessary. And I have plenty of lounge, lounge uh, clothes. I have plenty of casual clothes. And when I get the urge to go out and buy clothes, what I do now is I shop my closet first. I take inventory of all the things that I have. Now I have one clo I have a lot of closets in this house. I live here, well, with my grandson, but he's got his stuff down in the basement. So he pretty much just lives down there and he sleeps in one of the bedrooms. But I have every closet with my stuff in it. I have one for pants, I have one for shirts, I have winter clothes in one, summer clothes in one. It's all very well organized, but it's way, way too much still. And I've been decluttering this stuff for a long time. Sometimes 
What I do is I'll take a piece of clothing uh, when I'm decluttering and it's like, oh, I should try this on. Rather than saying, I really don't like this anymore, I'm not going to keep it. What I do is I try it on and then it's like, oh, well, that's pretty cute, you know, even though I haven't worn it in a long time. So I'm not going to do that anymore, try every single thing on, because that's what I used to do. I'm just going to go through willy-nilly and say, I really don't like this. I don't know if it looks cute or not, but I don't need it. I don't like it, so I'm going to get rid of it. But anyway, it cuts way back on me wanting to buy clothes when I see what I actually have and that it's in wonderful shape and that I don't need anything else. So I, I take the inventory and then I get rid of what I don't need and I shop my closet. If I, I have plenty of clothes that if I want to go to lunch with somebody, I have things that are a little bit nicer that I can wear for that. Or, you know, I, I'm a very casual dresser now. I, I don't get dressed up anymore. And on those rare occasions when I do need to look a little nicer, I mean, when I was dating or when I was married, I, of course, we had our date nights and we had our times where we went out, you know, to a bar or to a movie or whatever, and then I would dress up, but I don't do that anymore. I have no desire to do that, so um, I still have a lot of clothes that I can go through again and get rid of. So that's one thing, and why? Did I buy clothes or why do I get the urge to buy clothes well because it makes you feel good you know when you have something new and initially when you put that thing on it's like well that that looks pretty good on me so that's why I buy clothes to feel good so but I can learn to feel good in casual clothes just as easily so that is one thing Another thing that uh, I spend money on is freezer food. Now, you guys know that. You've seen my freezer. I did a freezer cleanup the other day. I still have a lot of food. And then I'm asking myself, why? Why do I focus so much on buying freezer food? Well, first of all, the way our society is now, you know, there's a lot of... of fear-mongering going on, there's a lot of strife, there's a lot of um, bad actors, for lack of a better term, and it's like, oh, if something happens, you know, I need, I need this stuff. So, but what happens is, then you just kind of keep stocking and stocking, and you have way more than you need, even if all those bad things were to happen but that's one of the reasons why I stock up and I'm realizing that I don't need that much you know I mean it could happen or it may never happen in my lifetime it's not like I have another 50 years ahead of me so how much do I really need so that's one thing. And then the other thing that causes me to buy more food is a lot of times they discontinue what I like. And I like certain things. I mean, I like a variety, but I also like certain things that I buy all the time. And it's like, well, if I don't have enough of this, they're going to discontinue it, and then I can never have it again. So that's one reason. And another reason is um, that they'll be um, out of stock on that particular product, like now with my creamer. You know, uh, I went through a phase like that a while back where they were always out of the chocolate caramel creamer. So, um, and a lot of times they're out of stock on things. So it's like, well... I better buy this and stack up on it while they have it because they may not have it the next time I want it. But there again, it's kind of not a good way to look at things because there's other things that I could replace that with if I had to. So it's always a good idea not to get stuck 
on any one thing. You know, find a variety of several things that um, would fit the bill as, as well as that one thing that you want all the time. So that's what I'm working on uh, when it comes to the food and also now cooking it down and not redoing the same thing that I did before. And the third thing um, that I spend money on is decor for my home. And I think it's just, I want to create a very safe haven where it's very cozy and it's it feels good, again, to feel good, to feel good in my environment. And that's why I spend money on decor for my home. Now, I don't spend a lot anymore. I used to buy a lot of, you know, decor pieces and tchotchkes and stuff. Now I'm leaning more towards smaller, like, pillow covers that I can change over the season and they're easy to store. It makes the whole room look fresh and new. You know, put a different Christmas time, put a red throw on your chair and a couple Christmas pillows. For, you can use that same thing for Valentine's Day. Um, <clears throat> it depends on how much you like to decorate. In the summer, you can have a set of whatever, a throw and pillow covers. But sometimes that changes the whole look of a room without actually having to store a lot of extra things. I use the same pillow forms. I just put a different cover on the pillow and the other cover I actually store inside the pillow and uh, that way I always know where it is and it's easy to change them up. So those are basically the three things that I spend money on. I used to spend a lot of money on going out to lunch with family and friends. I don't do that anymore. Um, we usually will eat at home. Um, my friends, a lot of the friends, they don't really, they stay home too. So, <laughs> you know, we talk on the phone sometimes. So, but you know, none of them really go out a lot. Uh, we're kind of past the party woohoo stage at this point in our life. So I don't spend a lot of money on that anymore, only occasionally. Um, so basically that's it. I don't need a lot of things for my home anymore. I don't need cookware. I don't need uh, new appliances so far. I, you know, so anyway, I'm going to try very hard to remain debt free and not go crazy on anything that I always used to really like to buy. So, all right, well, I'm just having leftovers again today for my food, so it's not very interesting to show you. Um, but that's all I have for you today, my friends. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself, be good to others, God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to share.